Hey there, it's me, Mark Hell. We're back for more fun as we uncover the number one reason we can live with confidence. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. God thinks you are pretty amazing. Yes, you. After all, he loves you so much that he sent Jesus for you. And as we've discovered this week, Jesus knows you. To him, you always belong. He's always there to forgive you, no matter how you might have messed up. When you start to believe that's really true, then you start to live with tons of confidence. You feel like you can take on anything. You feel like you can get in the mix and join the party. Today, I want to see you put your rock star skills on full display with the game I like to call Air Guitar Challenge. You can play this game by yourself, or if there's anyone with you, you can play together. All right, we're ready for some air guitar fun. Oh, and you never know what kind of music your air guitar might play. It could be rock, heavy metal, R&B, or even country. But be ready to give it your all no matter what. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Everyone can play at the same time. Here's our first riff. You'll need this rocker wig for this one. Ready? Go! Next, you'll need some cool shades for some cool R&B. Hey, how about a little country? Now, I want to see you play the blues. All right, you'll need a pedal for this one. You can use mine. Heavy metal. Stop that pedal, go! Amazing job. And now, it's time for the face off for the ages. I'll go first, and then it's up to you. This time, your guitar is going to sing and wail just a bit longer. So, you'll need to shred like you've never shredded before. All right, here I go. Now it's your turn. Ready? Go! Incredible. Why don't we do one more epic riff together? Everyone, air guitars ready? And go. Sensational. That was like nothing I've ever experienced before. Now, I'm definitely feeling fired up to sing and dance. Let's stand up and worship God together. Hi there, Summer XP campers. Welcome to day four of worship. Um, I was going to ask you to get up on your feet, stand up with me, and get ready to do our two songs for the day, which are Jesus, I Will Trust You, and I Want to Say Thank You. While you worship, keep in mind our bottom line for today, which is I can have confidence that I can change. Before the day, I took a breath. You had a plan for my every step. You promised to always be by my side.
under the mask. John, they can literally see half your face. But the other half is covered up, Brandon. Shush, we... shush, shush. Lights! As I was saying, can you guess who the mysterious singer is? <sighs> Maybe I should sing again to see if you can recognize me by my voice. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Uh, 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 And I'm John, and you are watching The So-and-So Show. We like to have fun on this show. Oh, yeah, we do. And that's not about to change. Oh, no! Oh, what are you doing? You said change. Oh, I sure did. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Almost never. It's, it's time, time for, for some, some change! change. <gasps> so for this game, John and I have until the music stops to change as many things as possible. Are oh. you ready, John? Oh, I am so ready. Hit it! Uh, uh, change places. Change clothes. Change key! Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> uh, uh, change attire. Uh, 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 change speed. Uh, 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 change laundry. Uh, 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 change cones! Yeah. Wait, wait, change cones? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, um. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, uh. uh no, we, uh, we're, we're running out of time. I, I can't think of anything else! Uh, 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 I know! Uh, uh, change sections of the show! Well, hey everyone, hey Summer XP, it's so good to be with you. My name is Kevin, I'm one of the pastors here at CPC. So excited to be sharing the Bible story with you today. I hope you're having a great week. So, if you were here last time, we talked a lot about a man named Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus had gotten rich because he was taking money from his neighbors in the town of Jericho as he was collecting all of their taxes. But 
Everything changed when Jesus came to town. Jesus looked at Zacchaeus and told him, I must stay at your house. Now, even though that was the last thing anyone else in the town would want to do, that's not at all what Jesus was going to do. And so Jesus actually forgave Zacchaeus. He gave Zacchaeus a new start, a chance to do things differently in the future. So today, I want to look, uh, take a look at another story of Zacchaeus. And let's play, pay close attention to what changed in Zacchaeus, all because of the way Jesus treated him. So let's... Hey. Oh, hey, Kevin. Daniel, what are hi. you doing here? Hi, hi. Sorry for butting in like that. I just had, I think I had a really good idea. You're going to want to hear it. I think I do want to hear your idea. Let's hear it. All right. Picture this. We're going to tell this story three times. One, okay. Two, three. But we're going to do it a different way each time, uh, kind of a different theme each time. Oh, oh um, okay. I, All yeah, right. No, I, I, I left a script over there. Maybe you can look oh, around yeah, for yeah. it. Let me see. Yep, yep, you okay. got it. Yeah, okay. I got it. So, okay. so okay. let's jump in. You're going to have to narrate, but uh, <laughs> yeah. make sure you stay in character, okay? I, I mean, Daniel, what people don't know about me yeah. is I was born to act. Okay. This is this is what I do. You've never mentioned that. This is the first time I'm hearing <laughs> of it. I've never mentioned it. Yeah. It's a kind of a hidden trait of mine, but let me tell you, I uh I'm pretty good. So All I right. think I think you'll be impressed. Okay, well let's find out. Here we go. The year is 2021. 2021. Um, Action. Okay. 2021. Here we go. If it's present day, then you know, this should be pretty easy. I can kind of just talk naturally. So here we go. <clears throat> so Zach had heard the news that Jesus was coming to town. So he hopped on his motorcycle and he zoomed up to the tallest overpass. He wanted to wait and see when Jesus would arrive. Suddenly, Zach saw Jesus pull up on the freeway below. Jesus was stuck in traffic because everyone wanted to be near him, even in their cars. I mean, it was a crowd of bumper to bumper traffic. But Jesus looked up at Zach and said, hey, Zach, come down at once. I must stay at your crib right now. So Zach couldn't believe that Jesus wanted to hang out with him. So they sped off towards Zach's house. And meanwhile, all the other Jerichoans were not pleased. I mean, they started texting each other. Jesus had gone to be the guest of a sinner. They were just texting that to everybody. But <clears throat> just then, Zach posted across all his social media channels, the TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of them. He posts, look, Lord, here and now, I give half of what I owe to those who are poor. And if I've cheated anybody out of anything, I'll pay it back, and I'll pay it back four times the amount took. Oh, <laughs> wow. That was pretty good. I, I told you, I'm a natural. This, this is what I was meant to do. Well, that one was kind of easy mode. We're going to level up a little bit here. It's going to be a little trickier. Okay. Uh, okay. You want to let us know where we're headed next? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, if we're doing this kind of acting out thing, I think, what do you think about heading out to the uh, the wild, wild west? Ooh, well, <laughs> yeehaw, partner. Let's do it. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Howdy, partners. I'm so excited for us to be out here in the old mining town. Panning for gold in the river. Panning for gold. There's no better gold shoulders. panning than Foster City. Oh, boy, howdy. Oh, howdy. I think we ought to get on with the story for today. What I'm do you think? thinking you'd be right there, Daniel. Uh, All right, you get into it, <laughs> cowpoke oh, Kevin. All righty. Well, old Zeke, he been riding the range since he been knee-high to a grasshopper. His selfish ways have made him mighty unpopular with the townsfolk. But just like everybody else, he wanted to see this man named Jesus who was coming to town. See, Zeke and his horse old paint galloped up to the top of the mesa <laughs> for a little better look. But imagine Zeke's surprise when he and Jesus spotted him in the distance and he waved his hat like a, yeah, -ha! let me tell you. Well, Jesus called out to Zeke, hey, Zeke, come on down. I'm going to stay at your house today. And the townsfolk will. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Well, they began a grumbling. It don't make one lick of sense, they said. Jesus is going to be the guest of a sinner. Just then, Zeke busted through the door, sipping a cold sarsaparilla. And he said, 
Well, he done went and said, look, Lord, here now I give half of what I own to those who are poor, and mm -hmm. if I have cheated anybody out of anything, well, I will pay it back, and I will pay it back four times the amount I oh, took. Oh, yeah, you must be. Daniel, I gotta admit, that was pretty fun, and we still have one more way to tell the story, am I right? That's right, Kevin. As a matter of fact, we do have one more, and for this one, we're headed to the high seas. Our matey. Ahoy there, me matey, old first mate daddy boy. Ahoy, first mate Kevin. Welcome ah. to the seven seas. The seven seas, where we be searching for the gold. That's right. The waves rolling against our ship. The mist of the ocean in our breath. Oh, the salt in the air. Nothing would make this moment better mm -hmm. other than a story of oh. God's word. One story. <laughs> daddy boy, I'm glad you brought that up. Let's bring the story next part. <clears throat> well, Zachary boy, old Captain Zach, the, the villain of the Seven Seas, heard that Jesus was coming to town. So he climbed atop to the nearest castle and waited dramatically. But then, just then, Jesus saw Zachary high above the towers in the skies, and, and he cried out, Oh, Zachary! Captain Zachary, come on down! I must be staying on your ship. And then, just then, the townspeople just from offshore, they were very unhappy. Arr, shiver me timbers. And they started saying, oh, Jesus has gone to be with the guest of the sinners. Oh, they were furious. And just then, Zachary, well, he belted loudly for everyone to hear. And he said, <laughs> look, Lord, here now I give half of what I own to those who are poor. And if I have cheated anybody, anybody out of anything, well then, I will pay it back. I will pay back four times the amount I took. Oh, Captain Zachary, the once was the villain, is now a proper pirate. He He's has changed his ways. ways. Yes, he has. Whew, Daniel, what a finish. I mean... Thanks for, you know, enhancing the story. Let me tell you, I mean, I'm a natural born actor, but that sure. performance you put on, holy smokes, that was good. Well, you make a good acting partner, Kevin. It was pretty easy <laughs> to you. act off of you. Thank so you. Thanks Thank you. for setting the stage for us. And yes. thanks for letting me try out my idea here at Summer XP. At yeah, home. it's pretty good. So, hey, everybody out there, why don't we give a hand for Daniel? Why don't we give him a round of applause? <laughs> Fantastic job. Thank you, Daniel. Just Thank spectacular. You very much. I'll be back in just a moment to wrap up the story. Well... Kids, that was something else. I mean, I just feel like me and Daniel nailed that performance. And I can assure you, I won't ever think of the story of Zacchaeus the same way again. And here's, here's the really amazing part is once Zacchaeus experienced Jesus' love and forgiveness, he had the confidence to change his ways. I mean, he gave half his money to the poor. And if he had stolen any money, he paid back those people four times what he had taken. Now, if Zacchaeus can change, then I think that means that you and I can change. I mean, once we've experienced God's love for ourselves, we see how he wants the best for us. And then that makes us want to change our ways. And so it makes us want to show the same love to other people that God has shown to us. See, the bottom line is I can have confidence because I can change. We've been learning about that all week. Because the truth is there are things in all of our lives that we need to change. Every single one of us can change and live more and more like Jesus every day. We can have the confidence that God is always with us, helping us to follow him and live in his ways. So with that, why don't we pray to wrap up our time together? God, we know that it can be hard for us to admit that we need to change, that none of us are in fact perfect, perfect um, and it could take courage to change. And so, God, we pray that we can show the same courage and strength and trust in you to change, just like we saw Zacchaeus do. And so, Lord, may you help us to become more and more who you've created us to be. And would you help remind us of the story of Zacchaeus and how his life was changed by your love? And so, Lord, give us the confidence to change, and may you help us going forward. So, Lord, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Well, hey, Summer XP, CPC Kids, it has been so good to be with you. Thank you all. I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great week of Summer XP, and I'll talk to you later. I love that story because for me, sometimes it's hard to change, mm. but that story reminds me that I can. Oh, we can all change. Reveal, Reveal the question. question. How have you seen someone change? Could be you've seen someone change their hairstyle or the way they dress. Or maybe you've seen someone change the way they talk or act. Yeah, I've certainly changed a lot over the years. I used to be bad at beatboxing, but now, watch this. One, two, three, four. Now you're not bad at it? <laughs> I know, right? Some changes are more evident than others. Hey, think about it. How have you seen someone change? I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and this was the So-and-So Show. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, you ever think we could uh, do our part of the show as a Broadway musical? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. All right. <laughs> I am John, and you are Brandon. You don't like it when I say your name that way. No, I don't. And maybe the whole musical thing is a bad idea. Why ever not, I can call you Brandon. Or I can call you Josh. <laughs> Why would you call me Josh? I don't know, <laughs> but that's a good name. Right. Don't make fun of Josh. We don't know him personally. Yeah, but I would be Josh in the scenario that you're talking about. But now about. I know Josh, because your name is now Josh. No, it's We're not. personal friends, and I'll sing to the end. Da -da -da, it's the so-and-so show. It's the so-and-so show. Take it. Yeah. It's the so and so show. It's the so and so show with John and Josh. <laughs> <laughs>
for my friends and my family I just wanna say For loving me from the start For every beat, beat, beat of my heart For everything you are I just wanna say, I just wanna say I'm so glad that God can help us change, just like he did for Zacchaeus. Remember, we can trust God no matter what. Even if we mess up, he gives us a fresh start. Every day is a new chance to follow him and live his way. We can have confidence to change our ways because we know that God has forgiven us. All of us can change and become more and more like Jesus. Remember, I can have confidence because I can change. Do you think there's anything in your life you need to change? If you think about the past few days, is there anything that you wish you had done differently? Maybe you were impatient with a brother or sister, or maybe you sometimes have trouble following through on your responsibilities around the house. God can help you with those things. You don't have to feel bad about them. Just talk to God and ask him if he can help you make a different choice next time. Sometimes it helps to know that other people have made changes too. Here's our question to talk about today. How have you seen someone change? Talk to your mom or dad or whoever you live with and ask them if they know someone who's changed. Ask if they've ever changed their ways and what made them want to do things differently. I bet you'll find some pretty interesting stories. And I bet you'll see how powerfully God can work in our lives if we ask him for help. It definitely gives me confidence to know that God can help me change. Talk about that with whoever's there with you and I'll see you later, okay? Bye.